right now. I think we're walking parallel to the Pacific Crest Trail, Section K, uh, coming out of, what is I think, Deep Lake and uh, Cathedral Pass. And up in front of us is Cathedral Rock, which is pretty neat, you know. Uh, one of the big benefits of living in Washington is that we live so close to these things. I mean, it was like a two and a half hour drive to the trailhead, which seems far, but by the Pacific Crest Trail standards, this is one of the more remote sections. And one of the more beloved sections too. So feeling really lucky. not bad so far really nice out it's only maybe highs in the 60s or perhaps low 70s I think lows last night were probably in the 40s we're only at about five and a half thousand feet right now we've had a great summer in the Pacific Northwest dry but no fires that have affected us too drastically at least where I live in the central Cascades knock on wood but yeah last time I was hiking on the PCT out here with Nisha it was like it was like 85 degrees which is kind of hot for the Cascades but uh, no complaints so far today. Well, the trail hasn't been exactly super well textured today. The tread could use some work. Obviously, it's in need of some love, some trail maintenance, as are so many trails across the great state of Washington. But uh, yeah, other than the steepness and the kind of like scree field, pretty good hike. And I made it. Tanisha and I are both here. Nice pitch, Joe. Tanisha, what did you think of the hike today? I thought it was pretty challenging, but uh, well worth it. It's beautiful up here, so yeah, can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. You heard it here first.
you know, trip reports say that last week this place was crawling with mosquitoes, but since we've been here, it's been too windy to really tell. It is a little chilly. Probably high is about 60, de uh, yeah, probably like 60 degrees this afternoon. Nisha took a little nap. I've been exploring, snacking hard. And uh, honestly, there are still tent sites. I would expect this place to be completely uh, sold out, so to speak, no vacancy. Um, but there's still, I probably found like three or four tent sites that could accommodate one to two tents each. So, not bad. I might come back here. Definitely one of the best lakes in the entire state. Good morning from Alpine Lakes Wilderness. We're on the Marmot Lake Trail. We woke up around 5 a.m. out of camp by 525 at Jade Lake. It was beautiful. And uh, now we're walking down. We walked past Marmot Lake. There's a bunch of folks waking up and getting ready. Um, a lot of dogs off leashes and tents like in areas where they aren't supposed to be pitched, like on the shoreline next to the water and stuff like that. But whatever, we're not the wilderness police. We're just out here to have fun, make sure we do it right. Um, but yeah, having a good time. We've got about 10 miles to hike today. We've probably hiked around one and a half or two. Uh, got a little ways to go before we connect back to the Lake Highest Trail, and we'll be heading back to the car. So all downhill today, a little bit easier than yesterday, but uh, hopefully just as fun. Hope you enjoyed that segment there. That was a fun little meadow out yonder. Now it's time to climb.
So now that we've dropped out of the glaciated basins that had Marmot and Jade Lakes, where we stayed the night at Jade Lake, we're walking along the kind of forest floor, the bottom of this valley, a little different. It's nice and cool today. Nice little breeze, but we're walking on the highest lake trail, towards highest lake, and uh, inevitably our car in the trailhead. Um, so yeah, all the uphills over, all the downhills over, it's pretty flat. And the texture's good, because this is a popular trail that has a lot of tributaries, so uh, yeah, feeling good. Looking forward to going home and taking a nice shower, because I stink kind of bad. Oh shit. Oh, that was sketch. Oh. No technique. She is beauty. She is grace. Cathedral Lake Trailhead, or Cathedral Trail rather. <laughs> and then here's the setup. Got the water jug, backpacks, snacks, extra teepee, usually a map. Cute girl, ready to go. All right. Wah, wah, wah. Overall, Jade Lake, Marmot Lake. Not bad. Pretty similar to Tuck and Robin Lakes, but a little bit different. It's different, yeah, and I do like that we have that PCT angle to make it different on the way up and down was kind of nice. Yeah, we took the PCT connected. Nisha, what would you rate this trail? One out of ten. I'd give this an eight, eight and a half. I think in terms of views, eight and a half for sure. Maybe even a nine, but... Maybe a nine? I think that Good the, praise, wow. The slog of getting up there and back, maybe not as much to see, though. There were some really beautiful meadows, so... There were some good meadows, yeah. Type of thing. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. The actual Jade Lake was hell sick, actually. The color was, like, <laughs> unreal. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but... Yeah. 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 Alpine Lakes Wilderness, man. No wonder it gets loved to death. This was, like... One of the most popular or uh, infamous PCT sections, Section J, hell beautiful. And how lucky are we to live like two and a half hours away from trailhead in the middle of the woods, you know? Mm -hmm. Kick ass. Ow.